Good morning, Las Vegas. It's game day, and the stage is set for a back-to-back showdown between the Minnesota Lynx and the Las Vegas Aces. They are such a tough and dynamic, solid, and balanced team. They have been remarkable because of their balance some off some preseason trades that they had that brought in for free agency with Courtney Williams coming in. You got Natisha Heidemann as well. And then you also get even deeper in your roster with my Isha Hines Allen, the all WNBA player who's already won a title in her seven years that she spent with the Mystics. Um, I'm super excited to be here. Can't wait to play in front of you guys. You know, every time I was with DC and we came to Minnesota, like the fans were crazy loud, so I can't wait to be on the other side of that and cheer for me. I think we did great in free agency and we built upon the players that were already here. Um, the chemistry that we have on this team has just been amazing. The energy from the very beginning, and so uh, we're rolling right now. Against the Vegas team who, you know, plays really good basketball together, um, they know each other really well, so just making things as difficult as possible. We know they're going to make some tough shots, we know um, they're going to defend hard, but, um, you know, we're in cool of doing those things too. And, um, and I think it'll be a really good game, it'll be on, it's on national TV, so I think we're just going to put on a show and hopefully come to win. Links on three, one, two, three! Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tyler Full jump back here with us on Sports Center, and you heard a heavyweight matchup between the Aces and the Lynx. As Angel pointed out, they've been tough on the Aces all season long. I think nice. we have been surprised by what Minnesota has done this year. The Lynx are taking the hardwood on a Wednesday night in the fairgrounds of Las Vegas. Tonight, it's not just about the two teams. Two MVP candidates, Nafisa Collier and Asia Wilson, are going head to head in a clash of the Titans playing on national television with all eyes on them as they look to make their mark. This team has incredible chemistry and it's reflected in the way they share the ball. It's reflected in how they shoot the ball. This young woman, Courtney Williams, can be unguardable. She's so good going off of the bounce, using screen and roll situations. Coming out early and kind of seeing how they was playing a pick and roll and my shot was going. So we was just attacking that and just trying to make reads while I was out there. Court now goes between the legs on the right wing. Down low to Collier. Down low to Maisha Hines Allen, and she'll score! Maisha Hines Allen getting her second field goal of the ball game. Right place, right time. I mean, that's the way we want to play basketball. Obviously, we don't play the sexiest type of basketball, but we effective. Put to pass down low to Alana Smith. She'll use glass and get it to go. Speaking of Maisha Hines Allen, she just fired a baseball pass down low to Nafisa Collier, and she finished in style. K-Max steps in, mid-range jumper is nothing but net for Kayla McBuckets in the links. Collier, no hesitation, right corner three, cash, Nafisa Collier doing phenomenal things on the basketball court per usual. We're going to walk out here, win a W as it is officially over. Congratulations, how do you feel? I feel good, um, they're a great team, so to come in here and beat them twice on their home court, it feels great, and we got to do it again in like 36 hours. What do you got to say for the fans in Minnesota coming back home? Show out, it's going to be a great game, come support us, make it loud, we are six men out there. 